Before Raphael got here, my dad has been helping me take care of my son since he was born. And um, I noticed the difference in the relationship and the dynamic between grandpa and grandson, and that wasn't there anymore. And it was more of a son and dad, and I didn't want, sorry. So when I moved out to Santa Rosa, I thought, okay, I'm gonna be on my own. So let me, I started Googling live-in nannies and this au pair option came up and I did some more research on it and found greataupair.com. Their website was so user-friendly, that's pretty much what sold me on their company versus other ones. I wanted a male figure in my son's life. We're part Portuguese and I thought Portuguese would be a good language for my son, a third language for my son to learn. I talked to Carrie and she instantly was just very open and explained everything in detail and it was an easy process. And it was from that moment that I got in contact from Carrie. It took three weeks for Raphael to get here and in that three weeks it's just been amazing. It's from the, the minute we were at the airport to pick Raphael up. I mean, we had, we had already developed this relationship, this really bizarre but wonderful bond before he even physically got here. Raphael is an amazing person and um, so when we were there at the airport waiting for him, you know, Brandon's just, he's waiting and he's waiting to meet this person that he just, I mean, that he's never even met. I mean, other than not even over, no phone calls, just Skype maybe once. And um, he saw Raphael first and he ran over there and he like kind of stood back, but he hugged him instantly. And then we saw each other and we hugged each other and it was like we were instantly family. Brandon has grown so much that I know he was lacking the male role model. There's so many things that as a mother that I have taught him, that I have told him, and he would do it, but Raphael showing him as a man, it's natural, it would come natural to him and he would just, he would do it. And I'm just, I've been teaching you that forever and he gets here and now I'm like, this is great. The cultural part of him coming from Brazil and, and teaching Brandon Portuguese, it's amazing. I mean, he's, you know, singing Portuguese songs and, you know, four years old and it's, it's so cute and he's already bilingual. I trust him with my child. Bottom line, I want Brandon to be happy and he is, he's more than happy and so is Raphael. If you're in the process of researching for an au pair or, or um, uh, trying to find uh, facts or research or anything to make your decision, it's well worth it, especially with great au pair. We've been treated really well. They, they come once a month. There's a coordinator that's here. Everything's ve very self-explanatory. Like I said, their website was very user-friendly. There's nothing that's hidden. Everything's open. I mean, I even got to the point where I was becoming s skeptical because everything was just so smooth and so perfect. And I'm like, there's no way, but they've done this for so long. Great au pair has just been there through the whole, the whole way. There's that support. They have researched, I mean, there's just, they have an answer for everything. And if they don't, they will get it and they will support you all the way. So if you're hesitant, this is one of the greatest things. I wish I would have done it earlier. Um, maybe my dad would be more of a grandfather to my son, but you know, it's, it's, it's now. And it's a great opportunity for my, for my son. I love it. It's do it. <laughs>